Hey guys, Michael Kwan here with Megatech News. We're here on the floor at Computex Taipei 2014, visiting with our friends of ASUS. And uh, you might remember at CES, we looked at some of their Zen phones and the PadFone products, and now you have the PadFone X that's ready to launch with AT&T. Correct, so uh, we had our launch event at the end of uh, last month, so launching AT&T, availability will be, be mid-June, and uh, kind of like uh, you might have seen the PadFone concept in other regions, it's finally coming to the US market. Uh, it's a two-year exclusive with AT&T, and uh, it's a pretty cool new concept. So you can see on the back here, we have a five inch phone, 1080p screen, uh, running KitKat, Android Write, Snapdragon 800, Adreno 330 GPU. You got 16 gigs of storage on board, you got two gigs of RAM, and you got micro SD support, as well as a bunch of cool little Asus goodies software wise, like Pixel Master for the camera, you got some low light modes, all the cool new stuff that people are doing for Android phones. And then in, in the tablet dock itself, uh, when you have it in there, there's Basically a bigger battery inside that, uh, so it can charge the phone. Exactly, so the phone comes with a 2300 milliamp hour battery. Uh, the tablet itself comes with a 4990 milliamp hour battery. Um, and then you have a 1080p screen on the phone, you have a 1920 by 1200 screen on the tablet. So you can go ahead and dock the phone straight into the tablet, and the tablet version will come up. So. Another cool thing on this is that if you use a tablet on Android and a phone with Android, you notice there's different layouts on apps, right? So we have something called dynamic display that will keep your apps open and switch it from tablet to phone UI as you dock and undock. So you get the cool new layout, um, a much more efficient layout on a tablet if you're pulling up emails with pictures or attachments, um, always more comfortable to look at on, on a tablet, right? And uh, what was the price on, uh, on contract? On contract, it's $199. Off contract, it's $549. And, you get, and it only comes bundled together. And then we'll have some cool new accessories like the folio covers and the folding covers that um, will fit on both, uh, of course. And then it'll actually also be a Bluetooth keyboard available um, that you can slide right in and use as a keyboard if you want to do your like Google Docs and stuff like that. Yeah. So, exactly. So speaking of having a tablet with a keyboard dock, there's actually uh, another product here at Asus that really taps into the Android ecosystem in more of a notebook kind of form factor. So let's have a look at that. So what we're looking at here is, uh, and we'll see the other two, is a trio of Intel-powered Android tablets that'll be coming out and all be available by June 22nd. Uh, so what we're looking at here is uh, an Intel Atom Z3745 processor, Bay Trail M, so brand new on the, on the uh, Intel processor side. And uh, like you said, um, transform, so you can go ahead and pull it right out. Um, unlike some of the previous ones, uh, this will come with the keyboard dock automatically at the three nineteen ninety nine price point. And uh, so, yeah, that's a 10-inch screen. Uh, 10-inch screen, you're running KitKat, so you got the latest version of Android. Um, and then uh, Asus has been pushing Zen UI, so it's kind of our own take on Android, kind of like our own skin. Yeah. Um, so it'll be updated with that as well. So it's, it's the same UI that we've seen on like on like the Zen phone and the Pad phone. Exactly. There we go. And, uh, and uh, when is the uh, the launch window for this family? Uh, this whole family, um, I think pre-orders will should be starting uh, right about now. You probably pre-order them at this point in time, um, and then availability and shipping dates will be June twenty uh, second around there. That's great. Uh, so we've had a look at what an Android notebook look, might, might look like, but what about on the Chromebook side of things? Asus has been expanding their family there with two new products as well. Back in the beginning of May, we had a big uh, press event with Intel and Google announcing two new models, the C200 and the C300. It's an 11.6 inch and a 13.3 inch options, um, featuring the newest Intel Baytrail processors again. Um, and they are both actually going to be available at 249 and availability will start uh, to be, you'll be able to start purchasing them as a consumer at the end of June. So aside from the, the screen size, there is no fundamental difference in terms of the, the internal. So spec wise, yeah, you're going to look at the same specs for the 11.6 and the 13.3. You're going to have 16 gigs of storage on board, 2 gigs of RAM, um, and uh, 1366 by 768 resolution on the screen sizes. So we see the C300 here. Uh, this one's an all blacked out option. The two models that we're going to initially see in North America is going to be this model that's all black, and then a C200 model that's going to be uh, black on the outside and a nice little silver on the inside. Uh, is Asus exploring any other color possibilities for the North America market? So uh, I think a little bit later on, we may bring in some different colors for the C300 for the 13.3 inch option. So you can be on the lookout for that as well. So I guess we can assume that it's like the other Chromebooks, so people will be able to buy it from like the Google Play Store, Best Buy, and so on. Yeah, uh, brick and mortar, online, all the usual places. That's a quick look at the different tablets and notebooks and other good stuff that they have at the Asus booth here at Computex Taipei 2014. I'm Michael Kwan with Megatech News. Make sure you stay tuned to our YouTube channel and the website for more great coverage.